Uh, March 11th, uh, 2011 was actually an interesting day. We had uh, just gone out and exercised two hours later. I was still working shift and then earthquake hit. After the initial shock and there was a little bit of break, but after that there was several aftershocks. Uh, everyone was in kind of a panic, wasn't sure what was going on. Shortly after that they decided to evacuate. Not too long after that, uh, all over the news, CNN, Fox News, uh, they showed some fires that were going on in downtown Tokyo and then the tsunami warning came and from that point on we basically were recalled back into work that night and everyone was working 12-hour shifts for the next uh, three or so months. From the moment the earthquake hit to the following tsunami to the pending nuclear crisis our squadron was in it from the get-go and we never stopped. We teamed together with the Air Mobility Squadron to deliver 5 million pounds of humanitarian aid. Many of our flights had direct contributions starting out with the combat mobility flight. We ended up sending our guys to flyaway missions, to up to 16 flyaway missions, driveaway missions, where they went into Chitose to deliver humanitarian aid. They went into uh, Sendai to clear the airfield. The uh, significance of cleaning the airfield at Sendai helped open up the airfield so we could bring in some of the cargo aircraft to help bring in the equipment. Within the first couple hours of Japan's national disaster, fuels personnel were recalled into work. We supported 11 civilian aircraft diverted from Narita Airport. We sent seven ABFDS missions for a total of 24,000 gallons. We were the first Air Force responders on ground within the first 24 hours. I'm very proud of the NCOs and the airmen that work for me. I found out that the training that they received was very valuable. They provided me with the knowledge that I needed as a supervisor but then also took care of the business. Uh, immediately after the earthquake, the mission focus changed from reception and recalling vehicles, different shuttle routes, civilian aircraft, moving thousands of packs, and receiving all the family members for NEO, pets, and evacuation. So we immediately had to set up a shuttle bus service. Uh, we shuttled over 64,000 people. We transported the DOE radiological survey teams. We accomplished 85 missions all throughout Japan. Support that direct photo POTUS. Every, did everything that we were trying to do. Leadership popped off and started directing traffic. I can tell you right now that uh, training was key and evident uh, in how we carried out the mission. And uh, we weren't only mentally ready, we were physically ready to do the job. No days off, we made it happen. Our guys transported so much cargo during that time to include the pumps, the boron, to help with those relief efforts in order to cool down the number two reactors. Vehicle management flight ended up preparing fire trucks to send up to Fukushima nuclear power plants. It was actually the first vehicle to be sent to cool down the nuclear reactors. On top of maintaining our support through a period of disaster, we were able to deploy 71 of our airmen to AF and jet taskings, many of them running gun trucks right up the middle of Iraq and Afghanistan, to over 10 locations in the CENTCOM theater. As well, we supported 19 CJCS exercises and mobilized 349 airmen in the wing to maintain our posture here in the Pacific. In 2011, I was deployed at Joint Base Belize and forward deployed to Al Assad Air Base. Our cargo team moved over 950 vehicles and we processed over 750 cargo tons. Initially, we had five months and we did it in three months. In 2011, I deployed in support of Operation Enduring Freedom. I stationed Kandahar Air Base where I supported joint operations. Our primary focus was to identify deficiencies at these fuel locations to deter theft of fuel. Our efforts ensured the sustainment of uh, continuous operations throughout all Afghanistan. During our convoy missions, we had to contend with long days with no food and sleep, but we also had to deal with multiple IED attacks, small arms fire attacks, and vehicle breakdowns in hostile areas. And we're the number one LRS in the Air Force because we've got the hardest working bunch of airmen around. We've got strong leadership at all levels, including our airmen, our NCOs, our senior NCOs, and our CGOs. LRS has one of the best fitness programs in the Air Force. Got consistently above 98, 99% passing rate. We've been benchmarked by the wing and by pack -out. Well, I know we're the number one LRS in the Air Force because we're constantly training to prepare situations such as Operation Tamadachi and North Korean aggression. Because we have a close bonding with an LRS, close teamwork, the positive attitude, and that's why we should be and will be number one LRS in the Air Force. Great bunch of guys here, great working with all my co-workers, all my teammates. I get to train, I get to travel across the world. I love it here, it's the best place I've ever been in my life. The LRS leadership sets a great example about taking classes and showing that it's possible to finish my education while having a full-time job in the Air Force. 
Another area where LRS has really branched out is our community involvement. Many members hold key positions in private organizations. For example, two of our CGOs were a project officer and secretary for the Wings Loggers Air Show, which hosted over 170,000 local Japanese. Many of our members are part of the Honor Guard, and for the past two years, the annual winner for the Honor Guard has come out of the LRS. Our flight commander was the lead in the FUSA parade. It just goes to show you that you can lead by example from the top all the way down. But as a whole, our squadron participates in a Mizuho cleanup, which goes to Mizuho City and picks up at one time 300 pounds of trash. Other squadrons have picked up on this great support activity and have started their own cleanups in other cities around Yokota Air Force. 374th Logistics Readiness Squadron is clearly the best in the 5th Air Force and in the Pacific Air Force. Hey!